Well, each year, more than a thousand students apply for just 30 places at the prestigious Meltwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology in Ghana. It's where every aspiring technology entrepreneur wants to be and is proving to be a successful incubator for African startups. Emma Boateng explains. These students are among the brightest brains in technology in West Africa. Their ideas are being closely watched by international investors. Are you going to upgrade the game? Are you going to add other features? The Meltwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology, or MEST, runs a program designed to give these young people the skills to compete worldwide. I want them to, to be able to take a look at uh, things that affect their lives and their families' lives and their friends' lives and, and, uh, and, and try to solve those real problems so they feel passionate about it because to be a, an entrepreneur and to have a startup company, especially in technology, if you're not passionate about your idea, you're probably going to burn out. So no matter what's missed, at the end of the academic year, they pitch their ideas to investors. These students are dreaming big. They want to be global players in the tech world, and this institute is helping them achieve that. But finishing here is just the beginning. Linda Ansong and her business partner, Osam Sasa, are MESS graduates. They have created an online service which can track hundreds of shipments anywhere in the world at the click of a button. Many of their clients do business through Ghana's main port, Tema. Investors in Sweden jumped at their idea. It's amazing because it started in a room, four guys just sitting there brainstorming an idea. And after a few months, we brought it into life and it's actually changing a lot of companies. And so that alone just makes us happy. Even if um, we're not making enough money or we're not sleeping at night. The team lives and works at their office. You can see that this account has 93 total consignments. They say it's been challenging. It's less than a year since they graduated, and they already have around 200 clients and an office in Sweden. They say they're proud of the fact that they and others are showing what Africa can contribute to the world of technology innovation. Amabwateng, Al Jazeera, Ghana.